so good to see you. Mrs. Rock here. Today, we are gonna learn all about cutting with scissors. Scissors are one of my favorite art tools to use, but with every tool that we use, we have to learn to take care of them and be safe with them, especially scissors, because you wouldn't wanna hurt yourself or anybody else. So let's talk about safety. If I'm holding a pair of scissors, I wanna keep it just in my personal space. I would never take my scissors and poke it near anybody else. Also, you wanna stay in your seat when you're using scissors. If by any chance you do need to move around the room, the way that you hold scissors when walking is by grasping the metal part, the point part of it. And then you carefully look around and make sure nobody's in your way when you're walking with scissors. So let's get started. Here are the materials you're going to need today. When you're learning how to cut, it's important to learn how to cut on different kinds of lines. Straight lines, curvy lines, wavy lines, and zigzag lines. Go ahead and draw these four types of lines on your paper. Now I'm going to practice cutting carefully on these lines. Let's start off by looking at our scissors. We've got a small hole up top and a larger hole down at the bottom. We're gonna put our thumb into the small hole. Our thumb is going to be at the top, always at the top. And then we can fit two or three or sometimes even four other fingers into the larger hole at the bottom. And remember, thumbs up, our thumb is always going to be at the top. Then when I open my scissors like this and I pull my thumb up, my scissors opens, kind of like an alligator chomping. Chomp, chomp, chomp. So my thumb is always gonna be at the top and my cutting hand doesn't really move other than just opening and closing. Now I'm ready to cut. I've gotta hold my paper with a pretty good grip with my other hand. And then I'm going to place my scissors open. We wanna open up that alligator and chomp down on that paper. So now you can see my scissors is closed. So I'm gonna open it back up, scoot it up on that paper. I'm still gripping pretty good with my other hand, but my fingers are out of the way of the blades of the scissor. And then I'm going to chomp down, open, close. Oh, I had to move my hand a little bit to grasp that paper. Chomp, open, chomp, open, and chomp. So now I've cut on that straight line. Now I'm ready for this curvy line. So again, I'm gonna grasp onto my paper with my other hand. I'm going to open up my scissors, thumb on top. I'm going to chomp down on that paper, but this time with my other hand, I'm going to turn the paper. Notice my cutting hand is only opening and closing but my other hand does the driving. It drives that paper like a steering wheel. So as I open and close my scissor hand, I'm moving the paper with my other hand. And there we go. Now I've cut nice and neat along that curvy line. Here's another little wavy line with points. This one's gonna be a little bit more tricky because we've got these points in here. So I'm going to open up my scissors, feed my alligator. So I'm gonna keep opening and closing my cutting hand while I drive with my other hand while I turn the paper. So I'm having to open and close my scissors. Oh, I got to the point there. So I don't wanna to go too far, I wanna stop right at that point. I'm gonna turn my paper back, feed my alligator, close its mouth, open, 
close, open, close. Oh, I reached the point there. So I take my scissors out, feed my alligator again. I just have one line left and this is the zigzag. And I'm going to chomp, chomp. Oop, I reached the end there. Take my scissors out, put it back, feed my alligator, make sure my fingers are out of the way so my fingers don't get pinched in the scissors. Turn my paper with, my, with this hand, but my cutting hand stays still just opening and closing. Zig, zag, zig, zag and there we go now i've cut my paper into five different pieces and look at all those cool lines that i made that was so fun happy cutting <laughs>